Hello everybody, my name is Thwani Gupta. In today's session, we are going to learn new English vocabulary words which will help you to increase your vocabulary and will also help you to clear CLAT and other judiciary exams. So let's improve our vocabulary. The first word for the day is feasible, meaning possible, reasonable or likely. Feasible means something that is easily possible, hai, reasonable, hai, kar sakte hai. That is practical hai, that is feasible. Sentence, it's no longer feasible to fund this research. Ab is research ko fund karna, paise dena is research ko possible nahi hai. It's not reasonable. Okay, the next word is not a moment too soon. So it's a phrase, jiska matlab hota hai, used to say that something happened when it was almost too late. Kisi cheez ka hona, lekin bahut late. Time nikalne ke baad jab koi cheez hoti hai, then we say not a moment too soon. Sentence, help arrived and not a moment too soon. Help to mili, lekin tab mili jab bhoat der ho chuki thi. Okay, the next word is spurred, meaning to encourage an activity or development or make it happen fast. Kisi activity ya development ko jab aap encourage karte ho ki aur jaldi ho jaye, jaldi se jaldi khatam ho, that is spurred. Sentence, spurred by her early success, she went on to write four more novels in rapid succession. So, uh, usko jo early success mili, she was so encouraged by her early success that she went on writing four more novels in rapid succession. Okay, the next word is cut out. So, cut out has got two meanings. The first meaning is, if an engine, machine or piece of equipment cuts out, it suddenly stops working. Agar koi engine, machine, ya kisi equipment ka part cut out bolte hai, uska matlab hai ki wo kaam karna band kar diya usne. And the other meaning is delete or remove. Kisi cheez ko hata dena ya delete kar dena, that is also cut out. Sentence, sweets should be cut out of diabetic diet. So, the diabetes ki diet hoti hai, usme se sweets ko bilkul hi khatam remove kar dena chahiye. It should be removed from the diabetic diet. Okay. The next word is woes, meaning extreme sadness. Bohat zyada duk, sadness, that is woes. Sentence, he told me a real tale of woe about how he had lost both his job and his house in the same week. Usne mujhe bohat hi sad story sunai ki kaise uska job aur uska ghar ek hi week mein chala gaya okay the next word is scathing meaning criticizing someone or something in a severe and unkind way kisi insaan ko ya kisi cheez ko jab aap log bahut buri tarah criticize karte ho bahut rude bahut severe serious way mein criticize karte ho that is scathing sentence he was very scathing about the report Saying it was inaccurate. He was badly criticizing the report by saying that it was inaccurate. Okay. The next word is pick up the cudgels for. Meaning to fight in defense or support of someone or something. Jab aap kisi cheez ke defense mein ya support mein lardte ho. That is called pick up the cudgels for. Sentence, she took up the cudgels for women's rights. So she fought in defense, in support of the women's rights. Okay, the next word is relinquish, meaning to give up something such as a responsibility or claim. Jab aap apna koi claim, responsibility, chhod dete ho, give up kar dete ho, that is relinquish. Sentence, he has relinquished his claim to the throne. Usne apna jo claim tha throne pe, wo give up kar diya hai, chhod diya hai. That is relinquish. Okay, so now it's time for the quiz. Please write the meaning of the following words. The first word is prompt. Second, stand out. Third, starkly. Fourth, think outside the box.
All right, now time for answers. The first word is prompt to make something happen. Kisi cheez ko karna, encourage karna, that is prompt. Second, stand out to be much better than other similar things or people. Stand out matlab koi cheez jo ki baaki sabhi cheezo se hatkar hai, outstanding hai, different hai, far better hai, that is stand out. Third, starkly, clearly distinguished. कोई चीज जो कि आप बहुत क्लियरली नोटिस कर सकते हो क्लियरली डिस्टिंग्विश के क्लियरली दिख रही है दैट इज स्टार्कली फोर्थ थिंक आउटसाइड द बॉक्स टू बी क्रिएटिव एंड प्रोड्यूस समथिंग दैट इज नॉट यूजुअल और बोरिंग टू कम अप विद समथिंग दैट इज यूनिक एंड इंटरेस्टिंग क्रिएटिव होना कोई ऐसी चीज सोचना जो कि इट इज वेरी डिफरेंट यूनिक जो कि बोरिंग और यूजुअल नहीं है दैट इज थिंक आउटसाइड द बॉक्स so that's all for today the session ends here i'll be back tomorrow with more english vocabulary videos meanwhile please go through these slides once again so that you can retain these words and uh, use them in your day to day vocabulary use them while writing drafts and any kind of writing thank you very much stay tuned for more videos please like and keep sharing